video make sure your revolver is up to date as you can see i'm trying to update my revolver even though i have the particular feature i want to talk about in today's video i still have to update my revolver you never know the major fix or the minor fix that have been done for them right so let's just run this in the background then the installation whatever let's jump into what i have to talk about in today's video secondly you have to understand what tones are and thirdly you have to understand how color grading affects the tones in your image when i mention tones tones are just highlights shadows mid tones whites and blacks those are the tones when everybody says tones colors for instance affect your highlights differently affect your mid tones differently affect your shadows same can be said for your blacks and your whites and as much as they don't portray these colors they affect them minutely or in its own way right and you have to understand how they blend seamlessly into each other you've heard a lot about mid tones i always say colors majorly are found in the mid tones or sorry let me be exact skin tones are majorly found in the mid tones the remainder you can see so this is an image i shot in 2021 2022 i am not so certain but i know it's been a long time i have created a number of images to run through today's video just so you can see the full effect of this particular program or this particular update in this particular ai software what i'm talking about is the ai color adjustment so let me click on the side after you update it you should see ai color adjustments in your color adjustments tab over here we have two things so by recommendation this is something i have mentioned about in one of my evoto videos you can use any of the recommended tones just for i mean recommended looks for the picture you have and all that i normally don't like to use things from people i let me correct that i normally don't like to use presets i have no knowledge about i mean i can just play around and figure it out but because of time i want to just jump straight into what i have and that's why i have presets and all that but today's video we won't be looking at the recommended looks we will be using looks from other photos to color grade these particular images over here so we have one where you can import the pictures you're looking for you have one where you can create a color match from a preview so what you're seeing right now is a preview i can create a look from this particular preview provided this look is something i love and it looks clean and simple for me if i love everything about it, the tones the colors and everything i can create a color match from this particular preview or i can upload the if you hit on upload you can go look for where the pictures are then you upload and it will create a color match from that particular look you just updated or uploaded there's also a new feature where we have the before and after but the most important one is a reference view so reference view you'll see that later on in the video so i have some looks i have already uploaded i took some from a friend i took some from my old images i took some from uh, music video still frames i took some from online i wanted to test the difference between a png screenshotted image and an original jpeg image and so far so good i've been using this for almost few weeks now i didn't just want to jump on to make the video i just wanted to try it out before i come out with this particular video just so that you can see the full effect okay we can install this particular update later on all right so for this particular look right i have a similar image let's assume you don't have the edit you did or you just have is a jpeg version of whatever you expected and you've lost the settings on the particular edit. this particular image i posted on my instagram i think two or three years ago i'm not really sure i'm going to click on it and see if it will color match this particular image so i have clicked on it and immediately i click on it you can see 
a drop down menu labeled adjustment and amount if you want to see more of it you hit on this particular arrow and you get to find tone and color let's double tap on the image just so you can see how closely matched they are one thing about this particular update in evoto is it's going to help you keep your colors consistent as a photographer coloring is something you need to really look out for and if you want to make sure your work and your photographs and your images are consistent with respect to color and grading this particular one this particular update makes a lot of sense so this is an image like i said from years ago i can't find the settings so i wanted to match it to this particular look i have over here so i mentioned earlier tone tone is highlight shadows midtones whites and blacks right so when i pull this down you can see the tones resetting so when you take a look at this image the Patterns created here are very dimmed down. You don't see a lot of white in there. When you take a look at the outfit, the outfit looks whitish, right? When you take a look at the face, the luminosity value on the face has reduced and the shadows in the background also is opened. So when I reduce this, which is taking away the matching of the tones, I get back my initial I get back my initial exposure of the tones, but because my color is 100, I don't have the color back to its original state. But when I pull this back, I get back my, my color. Let me pull this back and pull this back. The amount is a blend of both the tone and the color. So when I pull the amounts back, I can have something like this. Assuming I don't want the same amount of coloring happening over here that's where the amount comes in i want to jump into masking we will do that in the next image so let's pick this particular image let's run through some of the looks i have i have uploaded maybe this this is also one of my looks i did earlier i just want to match it and see if it will work so this is showing you how consistent you can make your images look with respect to this particular update in Iboto. I'm going to use this. This is an image I screenshot of someone's page on Instagram. Let's see how it picks it off. So I will double tap, bring it closer. Let's look at the skin tones. Let's look at the blacks with respect to the color. Let's look at the greens, the much darker greens. If I send it closer, you can see the much darker greens have picked it off. And I think it picked off the surrounding. So if we do a quick before and after, before and after, it picked off the colors of the surrounding and matched it to this particular greens. Let's go to the next image. I'm going to pick, let's assume this one. So it's an AI based coloring process and uploads the color. Let me hit on this so that you see what it says. It uses, if you want to check the guidelines, it's down here. I don't have to go through this. All right. I don't think I love this particular look, right? It has matched my greens and the tones and the colors and everything. I don't think this particular one works on this. So this is where you can reduce the amount. Then you can have the previous look and the new look. But we can do something else. Let's pick this particular image and see. I mean, you know what you want your image to look like when it comes to color graded so you pick the image you want to reference then you have to adjust right and as much as it's a one click solution you still have to adjust okay so i am facing a problem over here if i'm going to leave everything to 100 and i reduce the amount i'm still facing a problem over here right i don't want the way the skin tones look and this is where you double tap on the image and masking comes in so when I hit on masking, 
because of Ivoto's next gen, next gen AI software, you're able to have accurate masking. So for the person, we have two tabs, person and background. For the person, you can see facial skin, body skin, hair, eyebrows, eye whites, the list goes on and on. If I want to take it out from her facial skin, I'll make sure I select this and body skin, I'll select that too. So whatever adjustments I do here will probably show up here. If I want the full person and I click on this, it will select everything and any adjustments, any adjustments I make will, make will be made on the full person. All right. So I'll select facial skin, body skin, hair, and maybe clothes, lips tone. The eyes are not open, so we're not seeing anything. So I'm going to reduce the tone all the way so that you see how it looks like. Did you guys see it? Send it back to 100. That's how it looks like. And I'm going to reduce the color too. And I have it somewhere here. I'll go to the background. I'll reduce the tone so that you see how it looks like. And I'll bring it back. Okay. So this is before that and after that by referencing this particular image. Maybe this is not a good reference. Let's pick another one. Okay. Okay. I think I'm loving this one. Let's reduce the amount. Maybe I don't want it in the outfit. Look at the greens. It's matching the greens perfectly. Maybe I'll reduce the color in the background just so I can have some browns in the come back to person. I like the matching of the skin tones and everything. So I am going to go into clothes, just clothes, and I'm going to reduce the color. And there I have it. So before and after. Okay, this next image, I used it to show whatever it is I wanted to show on my Instagram. So I'm going to click on this. This is also a screenshot image I got from online. I'm going to go to full image. I'm going to reduce the tone because the tone is too much. Mind you, whatever adjustment you've made here is separate from the basic adjustments you can do over here. So after this, if you think you want to make further adjustments, you can make them over here. So assuming I like everything, right? I'm going to mask background, maybe reduce the color and the background, right? I like everything, but it seems too magenta-ish for me. I can come to my basic and reduce the tints just to introduce, balance out the magenta I, I saw in the earlier image. So this is before and this is after sort of matching the brown tones in here. And that's what this particular tool is for. I'm going to jump on this image. I'm going to use a sunset image I got from a friend. You know, I think it has already applied. Let me reset this, right? By holding Command Shift R and I'll click on this again. And this is how it looks like. This is the reference image and this is how it looks like. I want to open the reference images so you see. So this is the reference image in full screen. I just wanted to show you how it looks like. This is the colors in the reference image. And this is how it, was, it has been able to match that for me. Jump onto this particular image. I'm going to use this. All right. As you can see, it has picked off the tones in this particular image. And this has a lot of light skin models. So I am going to reduce the tones or go into masking, go to person, make sure I select facial skin, body skin, hair, I mean everything, right? I'm going to reduce the tones. And maybe reduce the color too. I'll come up to the full image and I'll reduce the color a little bit here and the amount, you know, just to have some look over here on this particular image. And there you go. So that is that for this particular video. 
the consistency is what i basically look out for so if you take a look at this reference let me show you a before and after before and after there hasn't been any adjustments made here it's just a total complete reference so i've lost the color grading for this i want to apply it on an image or the raw files i have this is a very good example to show you how good the color matching is right it might be a one-click solution for some images it might not be a one-click solution for some images you still need to understand how color works it's an easy way to go about fixing your image or making sure your image looks like someone else's image or someone else's color grading or the inappropriate term is steel well for for, for creatives it doesn't really matter if you steal steal but make it yours i like the way it has matched the blue skies it has matched the white in the outfit and also the skin tone that's crazy and it's really really good so there's one thing i also mentioned referencing right so i'm going to hit on reference view so let's assume i want to use so to use or to drag for a reference view, you have to hold option on the keyboard and drag. So this becomes my reference view and this becomes the image I want the referencing to be, I mean, I want the referencing to be applied on, right? So hold option, drag the reference. We have dragged this particular image and this particular image has an adjustment from what we did here. So what I'll do is hit on color match and it will try as much as possible to pick the tones here and match it on this particular image and there you go it has matched the tones and everything here so you see now this becomes a preview or a color match created for this particular one so now i can make my adjustments if i want to tone it down or reduce the tones in there or reduce the color in there or reduce the amount dependent on what i want so that's how this will work for referencing this works particularly for those who are into wedding photography and they want to match their colors accordingly from when they were shooting indoors to when they were shooting outdoors so i'm going to undo that all right let's move away from the reference view to the loop view and i'm going to select this back again just so we can have our color going to reduce the tone a little bit and uh, we have it so for what i have realized after using this for weeks is that for an accurate color matching you need to have a reference image that basically has the same tone the same colors respective to how you want the images to look like so with this particular image you realize it's a dark skin model this was a dark skin model i have some blue skies i have some blue skies i have some whites i have some whites though i don't have some greens in there i will try and match it as much as possible to whatever it thinks it is but all you see is the reduction in the brightness of the greens and not the color change but aside from that this particular one basically picked the color of the greens in there and matched it picked the skin tones and matched it same can be said for this too it picked the skin tones matched it to the browns in the image the greens it did by removed it from the outfits and it picked up the purple or the pink flowers over here it matched it very beautiful so it will it will do its best to do what it can do if you give it an accurate or close matching images for it to reference from and for images that are closely related or closely matched your consistency is going to be at a hundred that's that about today's video thank you so much for joining in make sure you update your evo to jump on evo to check in the link or check in my description box below a link to get an evo to for beginners thank you and i'll see you in my next video peace